I will use encoder example one dot pi to show the graphical display of some data. This file encoder example one just prints the left and right hand encoder values in degrees for my left and right wheels. And here, if I run the file, then you'll see that I'm printing left and right values, and I can move the wheels and see the value change. Right now, I'm changing the left wheel. Control C to stop the program. Then I come back here. In my while loop, I've added a section uh, starting with line 42 that will save my data to a file. I'm making a string, sorry, a uh, float out of the left hand value and then I'm using f equals open to open a file located here called readfile.txt. First I need to indicate the absolute file path so that the Python knows where to open that file from and then I use f.write um, to write the string made from this float value uh, to the file and it's going to overwrite the contents of that file and then I'm going to close the file and I can verify uh, from the last run by double clicking here I got a 72.5 and that should match the latest value when I was last running so the next thing to do is run the file again and I'm going to make a node red uh, GUI that accesses this information. The first step to uh, obtain this is to uh, navigate to 192.168.8.1 which is my uh, location of my beagle bone and then port 1880 describes the node red page. That's how I get here. Now, the timestamp is the first item. It's injecting a timestamp value with a topic that we generically wrote as X every 0 0.2 seconds. That was created by going to inject and finding it on the left hand, dragging and dropping it in. All we need to do is write the X value, write interval here, and then set your timing here. We'll delete this one because that's unnecessary. The next step is to create a reading file. We can do this. Um, first, express the file name in the same way. Make sure that you're uh, case sensitive, just in case it is. And you're going to describe the absolute file path of your text file. Uh, this output is a default uh, UTF-8 string and I named it reading file. The next step is to create a gauge. Uh, I can start from a raw gauge to show you what needs to be written. This is under the dashboard tab. Double click it. Um, it's automatically assigned to home. The size is automatic. The type is unchanged. The label can be updated if you want to say uh, my special gauge. The value format has been left as default and um, I checked if these brackets are required and they're not so as you saw in this txt file we're not adding any other characters besides the value. Next uh, the units are described as degrees because this is my wheel, uh, wheel lo location and further settings can be made for your customization. I'll delete this one and the final uh, item that I've added is, in an, is a chart. So I labeled it myself. The top two items are defaults. This is a default. I've reduced this from I think the default of one hour to just 20 seconds. Left this alone. I set the y-axis to 0 to 361 um, just in case I need to describe a value of 360 and keep it on the page. And then I clicked done. The node settings, um, you don't need to do anything here. Next step is to click deploy. It's going to generate the user interface. 
then to access the unit user interface uh, we click this button here to find the dashboard since my BeagleBone is running the program live right now we can see the left hand encoder values here and I'll move the wheel so we can see the updates so climb to 360 and then it'll start over the node red is always running on the background on your machine so all you need to do is navigate here and then begin to manipulate your uh, your flow